Good day, tennis fans, and welcome back to Tennis Now's twice weekly news update show, where we've got all you need to know about what's going on in tennis. I'm Ted Lepak, and I'm serving you Tennis Now. In Halle, the top seed, Rafael Nadal, fell to the defending champion, Philip Kohlschreiber, in straight sets, losing 6 3, 6 4. The second seed in the tournament, Roger Federer, had a tough scrap on the grass as well, taking on the young Canadian, Milos Raonic. Federer passed by Raonic by the skin of his teeth, surviving a 6-7, 6-4, 7-6 win. Since he won't be facing Nadal in the finals, Federer will have a slightly easier run at the title. He will face Mikhail Yuzini in the semis, and then either Tommy Haas or Philip Kohlschreiber in the finals. We predict Federer to take Halle after defeating Kohlschreiber in the finals. Over in London, the tournament has become a free-for-all. The third seed, Yanko Tipsarovic, was the only top seed remaining today until he was knocked out by Yin Sun Lu. Lu didn't get much of a chance to celebrate, immediately heading to his next match to play Marin Cilic. But after losing the first set, Lu retired with a leg injury. David Nalbandian also played two back-to-back -back matches today, both ending in three set victories for him, defeating both Eduardo, Roger Vaslin, and Xavier Meliz. The exhausted Nalbandian will need to rest up if he hopes to tackle Gregor Dimitrov in the semis. We think Cilic will defeat Sam Quarry, and Dimitrov will beat the tired Nalbandian before advancing to defeat Cilic in the finals. In Bad Gastein, the uh, Elise Cornet and Casina Pervac both advanced in straight sets today, and will meet each other in the semis, while the other semifinal match, Yanina Wickmayer, faces Mandy Manila. We predict Cornet to defeat Pervac before falling to Wickmeyer in the finals. In Birmingham, there was some bad rain today, halting Roberta Vinci's match with Jing Ji. All the matches have been postponed as well. The USTA announced details of a proposed plan for future development at the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows Corona Park, the site of the US Open. The project will primarily entail replacement and renovation of aging facilities and infrastructures. Most notably is the construction of the two new stadiums, one to replace the aging Louis Armstrong Stadium, and the other will be brand new Grandstand Stadium. All of these changes and still no roof over Arthur Ashe. Our French Open Review edition of our magazine is now online. This edition includes a day-by-day -day recap and grades the players' performances as well as their fashion. We also feature the winners, Rafael Nadal and Maria Sharapova. To check it out, click on the link in the description below. Also remember to check us out at TennisNow.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.